Hey guys, how's it going? Well, my car of the day will be the 1948 Lincoln Continental Cabriolet. And this car is a 132 scale in which I bought at the flea market. And if you can see guys, this, this is a pretty car. It was yellow. And this car is based off of the Lincoln Zephyr, but not as long. If you ever, if you ever seen the, the Zephyr, it was a little bit longer and more sleeker. This car is a little bit compact and cooler. I mean, check out the moon rims. Look at all of that chrome. This is a beautiful piece of car. You have to look at look at the details. Great decals on this 132. And like if I went to Costco and I was looking at the Misto, but the 124. One eighteenth scale, it's a little bit too big. I had no way to put it. But I like these one thirty two scales. I think they're pretty awesome. They're com convenient, and the details on them is pretty, 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 pretty freaking cool. And if you guys can see just the inside alone, it is super awesome. So according to some of the spec, this car has always been a, a two-door. And if we saw this car today, it would still be in the same configuration, two doors. Maybe a little bit jacked up, a little bit hyped up. So, you know, sometimes we buy cars and we decide we want more power on it, but still have them looking cool. I think this car would be still cool, but just with a little bit more get up and go. So this car was created pretty much in 1948. So I guess the, like the 1940 through 1948, these cars were pretty much the same. A little change here and there, but basically the same look. So you would think, why change it when it looks just as fine as it did? Now, this is one of the cars I would definitely, if I could find one and I can afford it, hey, I would jump in it. It's another one of these cars you want to go cruising with your girl on a Sunday, go to the movie, or even better still, like they did back in the days, go hang out at the drive-in with your coupe and just chill. But again, guys, this is a, a, a pretty, pretty, pretty car. Love this car. Love the grill work. Love the details. And I think I love collecting this scale of car. This is perfect. 132. This is the perfect size for me. Until I decide to get more room, then I go up to the bigger scale. But I love this one. The hubcap, the fat white tires. This is a great car, and I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. And according to some articles I found on this car, well, on the original car, the real car. So they were saying like from 1939 to 1948, 
it was recognized as a full classic by the Classic Car Club of America, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I didn't think it would have to be recognized as a classic car. I look at it and say, hey, it's a classic car, right? It's a no-brainer. And the last time it was built, what did it say? As of 2015, the 1948 Lincoln Continental and 1948 Lincoln were the last cars produced and sold by a major U.S. automaker with a V12 engine. V12, guys. Now, you think this is 1948. So you know this car has some power back then. Can you imagine what you can do to this car today with the technology we have today, the way better engine? I, I won't say better engine because I think the engines that were built back then were a whole lot better, a little bit stronger, and it wasn't governed as much as these are engines are governed now. But that was then, this is now. Now we, we can kick it up a notch blow the doors off another car. So guys, enjoy this video. Anyone that's new to the channel, I try to do a, a car of a day every day. I'll put up a video every day of a car from my collection. And this is today's car. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for joining. Hit that thumbs up. New subscribers, thank you guys for coming aboard. We welcome all comments, good or bad. As long as you have love for this, for diecast cars, you're always welcome. Even if you don't have love for it, you're always welcome. Because we can turn you into a collector as soon as possible. You keep coming back to the channel, you'll be wanting to collect cars. This is a nice hobby to do. And when you get good enough, do customs. I am not there yet. <laughs> but, all right, guys. Enjoy this beauty. And thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys.